If you've ever wondered how to build a VNAV profile in the G1000, and just for reference, most of the Garmin equipment is going to work the same way, but I'm going to be using the G1000. This is the NXI version. To build a VNAV profile, you will do this in your flight plan. So let's go over to the MFD. We're going to bring our flight plan up, and you can see we're flying from Hutch to Emporia. We want to be at pattern altitude, four miles away from Emporia. So the first thing we need to do is turn our cursor on. And as the cursor is blinking, we can see that it's on Emporia. If it wasn't, we would move it up and down until it was on Emporia. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to build an along track offset. So this soft key that says ATK OFS stands for a long track offset. When I press that key, you can see that it's at zero. So I'm going to come down to the FMS knob and I'm going to scroll it to the left until I see negative four. Then I'm going to press enter. It builds a temporary waypoint four miles from Emporia and the altitude I want to cross that four miles at is 2200 feet. So I'm going to put 2200 feet in here. Then I'm going to come down and press the enter key. So you can see we have a top of descent from our current altitude and our current ground speed. And if the ground speed slowed down or the altitude changes, the top of descent would change based on a flight path of 2.5 degrees. That's approximately 650 feet per minute. Okay? So that's how you build it. Now, now that you've built it, you want the autopilot to capture it. So when we get within a minute of our top of descent, we're going to hear vertical track through our headset. When we hear vertical track, we're going to put the 2200 feet in our altitude select, and we're going to arm the VNAV so that it captures it. That's what we're looking for next. Okay, I went ahead and sped the airplane up a little bit. Right now we're two minutes from our top of descent. And like I said earlier, I'm waiting until I hear vertical track. Once I hear vertical track, I'm going to change my altitude select to 2200 and arm the VNAV. So that's going to be the next thing that I do. Just going to press the heading bug here, sync the heading bug up with our current heading. And now everything is right with the world. I'm going to arrange that in a little bit so we can see. We have this two minute track vector out in front of the airplane. When it splits that, we're going to hear a vertical track. That's the next thing we're going to hear. VNAV is also good. For crossing restrictions, if there was a VOR or a fix ATC wanted you to cross at a certain altitude, this is great for building that and descending down to that fix. Here comes vertical track. Vertical track. Vertical track. So altitude select down to 2200 and arm VNAV. So we can see 2200s in our altitude select. We also have a magenta 2200 that pops up here next to the altitude select box. Once you've built your VNAV profile, we see VPath is highlighted in white. That means it is armed and ready to capture soon as this VNAV indicator centers up on the altimeter. We'll see VPath go active and then altitude select of 2200 feet is what it's going to capture when it gets to that altitude. And down we go.
You can see over here on the MFD, this banana shaped blue line shows us where we're going to hit our selected altitude at, which is right on the bottom of descent. Now we're going to pretend that the airport closes down for some reason. There may be an airplane on the runway and we can't use it. So we're going to divert over here to KHRU. And I want to show you from the PFD another quick way to build a VNAV profile. So coming over to the PFD, I'm just going to press altitude key and let us level off right there. And I'm going to select an altitude of 3,500 feet. Press vertical speed. And go ahead and descend on down to 3,000 and then I'm going to unarm the V path. I don't want to catch that again. Okay, so we're going to divert over to what I what did I say? HRU. We're going to press direct to and with the FMS knob, we'll type in K H R U. Hotel Romeo Uniform. Harrington Regional, that's the one we want. We'll press Enter. Now we don't want to activate it. We're going to go up here and do set up our VNAV profile right here in the Direct 2 box. And the way I'm going to do that, so I'm using the FMS knob right here, and I'm going to type in 1,000 feet. Then I'm going to press Enter, and it says, do you want MSL? No. I'm going to turn the FMS knob towards the green arrow. And I want AGL. Press Enter. And then we're going to go negative four again, press enter, and now we'll activate that and start heading to Harrington. We're still descending 3,500 feet. You can see there's our top of descent right there to go into Harrington so that we'll be at pattern altitude four miles away. And then you can also look over here on the MFD and see the same thing. We're turning, there's our top of descent, Again, one minute out, we'll set our altitude select to Harrington's altitude, and we'll see what that is when it pops up here in the window. There's our tone to level off at 3,500 feet in 1,000 feet. Okay, so we're coming up on our one minute top of descent call out again. At that point, I'm going to see what altitude I need to descend to right here. I'm going to hear vertical track, set my altitude select, arm the VNAV, and descend down to pattern altitude. Vertical track. Vertical track. So I arm the V-path. And we're going to set 2481, just like the magenta reminder gives us. We see our V-nav indicator right here. As soon as it centers up, V-path is going to capture and take us down to 2481. Can't get any easier than that. Again, a lot of the Garmin products work the same way. Some of them are a little bit different. All of the G1000s basically work this way as long as you have the Garmin GFC 700 autopilot with that airplane. If you have a different autopilot, you'll probably need to use vertical speed to follow this VNAV profile down. VPath captures. 
we start descending. We get the 1,000 foot call out tone. You can see this banana shaped line again is telling us that we're going to reach that pattern altitude four miles out and we'll have time to set up, enter a downwind for the runway that we want to use, and land using our autopilot to bring us down. Okay, that's all for VNAV. If you have any questions at a later time, please email me at randy 